Hi, this is Attican with another of our Grand Ages Rome Reign of Augustus walkthroughs. This one is a mission called Through the Mountains, which is just an excellent mission, perhaps the best one of the bunch. I'm doing my usual start of queuing up my drafted squad or squads and queuing up research so I don't forget about it later on. All this is in pause, and then we're going to step back after we get that done and take a look at the kind of the strategic look at the map. And this is a, this is just a great mission. It, you see a, a valley that runs kind of let's call it north to south, up right up through the middle of the map. And those guys in purple are our allies. They're the ones we're trying to help escort through that valley and out the other end to safety. It's a there's a good a couple of good building areas, and we have two outposts. This uh, let's call it our southern and northern outpost. The southern one southern one will be our farming. The northern one will be our resources. And you'll notice I changed my mind. I'm going to draft my study out of that northernmost uh, outpost because I want to be able to have some troops up that way and then I'm going to build my recruiting barracks and um, academy in the southern build in my regular town build and I'll have troops coming up from both ways and so I'm <laughs> We're going to jump start with a, a slave camp build for the resources, and I tried to fit it so that one uh, slave camp could get everything. It won't. So uh, I have enough slaves on hand, so I'm going to go ahead and build two camps and capture all those resources now. So we're going to have plenty of lumber. We'll build plenty of bricks. We'll capture those stone quarries, the iron mine, and the marble. That'll give us all the resources we need to get off to a really great start. So this really jump starts your economy and jump starts you with the resources you need to build. Particularly, of course, you know, I'm playing with a, a Lucius character that has a lot of upgrades, and, and he gets upgrades on all these builds. So uh, he's got all kinds of resources right out of the bat. If you had a less powerful character or if you were playing uh, somebody who had different types of benefits like Valerii or uh, Julii or Amelia or whatever, um, you wouldn't have those kinds of bonuses. But, it, but at any rate, you still do the same thing. You might have to just go a little more slowly in terms of how you built your town. So now I'm doing my typical thing of uh, building away from the center. I'm going to place insula, and these insulae are going to um, man the, the farms and the mills and what we need uh, to um, to feed our folks. So uh, now I'm going to start building roads and typically on these walkthroughs I go away for this part and don't make you watch it but I think you should watch this one because there's some interesting things on this road build. So we're building a road down from our main uh, outpost down to the valley. So now we're down in the valley and now we're going to start building north as we go up to uh, to the to the spot where we're trying to get those troops to go. And notice I got to stop, and what happened? I ran across bow maidens. So basically, my road crews are out here scouting for me, and they found bow maidens. And a technique you can use is just as you anchor one end of that, you can just pull it up and then just move your cursor back and forth, and it's like sweeping. Now, watch this. I'm just going to sweep the valley and look for bad guys. I found some more. So I'm going to go up some more. Now I'm paranoid. I'm just looking everywhere. And you can actually use this to scout. Now, some people might think. Think this is cheating. If you do, don't do it. But uh, uh, it really, actually, when you think about it it's, it, it's just like having you've got road crews out here working on your roads, and they basically are reporting back to you that what they've seen. So, so you've got some good scouting. And what this tells us is we're going to get a lot of ambushes. You've you've seen a whole bunch of squads of um, bow maiden coming up through here. It's got to be bow maiden. They're the only ones who can hide. So. Um, we know we want to be able to attack Bow Maiden, and the best way to do that, of course, are with Triari. There are plenty of ways to fight Bow Maiden. You can use uh, um, cavalry to jump on them quickly. You can use a, you can overpower them with infantry, whatever. But the best, of course, are Triari, and we'll get into that in just a minute. You've seen the Triari turtle before, perhaps, and perhaps you've used it yourself. It's a great way to fight Bow Maiden. So. so we'll get to that in a minute. But right now, <clears throat> just setting up the basic build of farming and getting prepared. And this mission's a little bit about time. I mean, you've got to hustle and get your troops built because before you lose too many of those Hastati. Because imagine if you had, say, two or three or four Hastati walking up that valley, and suddenly they're hit with all those bow maiden. How many of them do you think would make it to the other end? Uh, I can tell you, none will. So we've got to get down there and help them, no doubt. So I'm building all five of my farms, uh, wheat, pig, wine, uh, flax, and olive oil which is nice. It's nice when you can do that all at once and all in one spot when you have that much fertile land to, to play with. And now I'm setting up kind of establishing the center of the community and the 
and the baker and the butcher so that I can feed these folks. And I uh, left out my flares, flour, so I'm going to go back and get the mills. And I'm building like four of them here. <clears throat> you typically, if you're not resource rich, this guy's resource rich, so I'm taking advantage of it. But if you're not, you build the bare minimum you need. One wheat field, one, fl one flour mill, one baker, etc., etc. And you just keep adding incrementally as you grow and as your research allows you to upgrade uh, farms and and upgrade your resource gathering but you know again this particular character his strength is the fact that he has so many resources right off the bat cuz he get, everything comes out is already upgraded that's why I actually chose him uh, not to make these things easy but I just wanted to be able to build quickly so we wouldn't have to sit and watch the thing churn okay um, now we're going to lay down our forum because we've got everybody fed you saw the crime pop up for just a second that was before those uh, everything was staffed. Once everything was staffed, now we're actually feeding everybody and they're all at 50% um, food, which is great. So we're already producing goods. But we're going to make it better by upgrading to equites, which is very important. It's very important that you upgrade your baker and your butcher to equites so they'll overproduce on um, bread and overproduce on meat and that allows you to go ahead and set up inns and taverns and take advantage of that so here you see my hasadi coming out I've got a couple of them coming out and we're making good progress so now we've got our forum and by the way if I could go back the one thing I would change on this guy is I would have that forum is built instantly um, <clears throat> talent that's a really useful one that really speeds you up when you can just lay down your forum and it's done you want to be careful as I've said in other ones not to do it too too soon in your build but once you're ready it's nice to have it done instantly we'll build five equites to staff butcher baker in tavern and odium that's kind of the big five and once those pop out and we up and very important we change our staffing on our baker and butcher to um, equites and now everything's cool we've got We've got solid entertainment and solid food for the entire community. And now we're going to add religion. And since I have olive oil and clothing already coming in from an estate, I'm going to take advantage of that and go ahead and build my uh, religion with patricians, staffing it right away to boost my religion rating. So we'll throw in a school to get our research uh, revved up a little bit, and we will be good to go. That is a good basic build to get, a, get you started. And then as you're research completes those other temples you add those in with more patricians and then you're looking really good so there we go I just switched that temple to um, patricians everybody's happy we've got goods produced if we had a big trading map we could start trading right away because we got a good flow of goods building the victory tower so we can victory column rather so we can uh, train our troops more if the opportunity presents itself in fact as you can see I've got my three um, Hastati and I'm trying to get them all trained up leveled up a little bit that um, village above us happens to have just two two defenders but I want to make sure I, I don't go up there and start losing troops and, and the big problem there would be I'd be losing time time is the essence here time is of the essence so here's a classic build for your military setup and we'll build three equites houses one for for uh, stable carpenter and weaponsmith don't need the carpenter it's just a habit of mine been doing it uh, forever it just it just gives me ten more recruits I just I've done it so many times it's almost like I can I'm on automatic I can't stop so I built the three equites. I built the three buildings. You got to have that weaponsmith, of course. That's the one that uh, that empowers this thing and gets you going. Um, run out of cash, so I'm hitting the the tax button a couple times, and that's going to get us going. So now you can see we've got our basic build started, and we'll continue with this and get into some of the combat in part two.